It is time for week 10 of the Biggest Loser Million Pound Matchup. The state of health in South Florida is misleading because the rest of the country sees hot bodies and bikinis. It's the same as everywhere else. There's a lot of overweight people. We see a lot of patients come in with medical problems. Like 90% of the problems people come in with are directly related to their weight. It's really a problem that has to be addressed. We are ready to go get it done. So I just want to feel healthy. I want to be a healthier person. Hi, this is Jenny, and I just want to share with you a song I wrote. I can lose 50 pounds. I just might leave the house. Now let's see how much the country has lost so far. That's great, America. You're almost halfway there. Go to biggestloser.msn.com now. You know, my head's still kind of foggy after the elimination and Mark going home and and I was you know kept thinking of him and no one in this house worked harder than him in the gym you know, or, or any place and uh, he worked through pain and uh, it eventually caught up with him there really is no justice when it comes to the scale what who knows why he got a one what I mean he worked out harder than any of us and uh, he only pulled a one what the hell man hurt he wanted to go he didn't want to hurt anybody else's chances so it's a very unselfish uh, act that he did last night you all need to vote for me including you Jay you need to vote for me I love you all I love you you know the blue team is in a very difficult position right now let's hit it we are down the score is blue team three black team four Wow. Still here? Oh my God. Man, I walked into Jay and Mark's room and it was like a funeral in there. Wow. I could not believe that Roger was sitting in that room. The fact that Mark wasn't there anymore, it was the biggest shock. Wow. How are you, Jay? I just miss my brother. The wall's empty. <laughs> and he's not here, and I'm gonna get past it. I just, I'm just, he's, he was my inspiration. Now that he has moved on, I'll pick myself back up. Jay's been taking this elimination really hard, um, and now to sit in that empty room by yourself at night, just there's an empty feeling knowing that the person that you came here with is gone. You've got me. Yes. You've got your new brother right there. Yeah. And you got your new brother right here. Yeah, I know. I so know. you've got three brothers right now care a lot about you. And you're not alone. I'm the one left, and uh, I got to find out how to move on. I better do it quick because Wayne's going to be coming. I'm here for these guys. And I'm, I'm friends for friends for life. Having just lost a teammate again, it's going to be really difficult, but this was a promise we made to Mark. 
to systematically eliminate each and every player on that team. Hi. What's going on? Hey. Tell me what's going on. Who do you think would have gone home? Mark volunteered. He volunteered, yeah. You guys don't seem happy. <laughs> as crazy as Mark was, I would have rather him been here. Mark is a huge competitor, but he's not one of the biggest threats on that team anymore. So I was kind of sad to see that he was gone. I would have much rather seen him here and a bigger dude gone. Like, let's say Roger. And Roger drives me insane. He's so cocky. He knows that he is going to potentially be the winner of the show. You know, you gotta, you gotta shut him down. Get aggressive. Roger is the biggest threat in the house. So I feel like the blue team just kind of handed Roger $250,000. It's like, Mark's on, whatever. We're gonna have other, I'm telling you, we're gonna have other problems to worry about. I feel a little more confident that it's four against three, but it's still pretty much girls against guys. The war has just begun. We thought it started, but it's only just begun. Hey, guys. OK, I need you guys to go with me on this. Picture it. You've been good with your diet all day. You ate a healthy breakfast, sensible lunch. And now, it's the middle of the afternoon, you're starting to get hungry. When Allison shows up, we always know there's something going down. We're like, OK, what is it going to be? Our minds are always pondering, like, what is this going to be? What do you do? Snack time. Man, I've always had a problem with snacking. I'm like, I don't like where this is going. When it comes to snacking, there are smarter options. And that is what today's temptation is all about. You've been good with your diet all day, but now it's the middle of the afternoon, you're starting to get hungry. And that is what today's temptation is all about. Allison says that it's time for a temptation. And uh, she says it's just so sweet, but the truth is it's not. There's nothing sweet about these temptations. You know, it's late in the game, and if you don't eat, you could be going home. If you do eat, you could be going home. In that room behind me, there is a vending machine. And it is filled with delicious and very bad for you snacks. You're going to go in there, make a selection but anything at random will fall. If you get junk food, you have to eat it. But it also has packs of extra sugar-free gum. If you get the gum, not only do you get the dollar amount on the back of the gum, which is anywhere from $500 to $5,000, <laughs> but it also means that for your next turn, if you get the junk food, you don't have to eat it. You get to chew a piece of five calorie extra sugar free chewing gum instead. It's basically a free term, but there's one other thing in the vending machine as well a one pound pass. Whoa. You get it, you get to subtract one pound from your weight at the next weigh in. Oh my God, that one pound pass for me, it's like life or death to stay here. I really feel like I'm, I'm vulnerable, and if we don't win this weigh in, that, you know, I'm going home. I just need something, one up over somebody else. And I really wanted that pass, bad. For this temptation, you can try your luck as many times as you want. But if you get the one pound pass, your turn is over. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. OK, Roger. Let's do it. Get in there. All right. <laughs> Good luck, bud. All right. Vending machines and I go way back, and it's all, they've always been a friend of mine. Uh, you put a little in, and you get really something nice out of it. All right. Like a selection here. I was just excited to finally participate in a temptation. I haven't participated in any temptation, and it was definitely one I decided I was going to participate in. Let's go with B for the blue team, and let's go. There's only three of us left. Good, I got some gum. $1,000. All right, let's go with E. 
six. Shit. I think I'll have a piece of gum. Hmm. Punch again. I get the bag of chips, and it's fortunate enough that I had the uh, Wrigley's extra uh, sugar-free gum that I could actually take one little five calories and rock on and make another selection. Let's go with C, three PO. Yes. Woo! After you get the pound, you're done. One pound passed. Well, that's good. So far in this game, one pound has been huge. One pound, you know, prevented me from getting. Biggest loser of the week last week, so I thought it was very important to get that pound. <laughs> One up, Dan. Have fun, Dan. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. In Temptations, not a lot of people play, but there's a lot of money on the line for this one. There's also a one pound pass, and that could be huge at this next weigh-in. Mm. I get a big bag of salty, greasy potato chips. Oh, Thirty calories. Thinking. All right, you know, I mean, I, I didn't expect to start off right away with the big cash money. Oh, greasy. Ah, oh, come on. 440 calories. Okay. <clears throat> One in Rome. Baby, baby. Two hundred and ten calories. Oh, come on. Two hundred and twenty calories. It's not good. Now, with these chocolate wafers, I'm at 1,100 calories, and I feel sick. Oh, my stomach is in bad shape right now. I mean, this is killing me. I should have quit. I should have walked away after maybe one or two pieces of junk food. I'm done. Screw it. All right, one more. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Yes! Thousand bucks. That's what I'm talking about. Two thousand bucks. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. I like this game. Yes! 5,000 bucks. I think that's it for me. It's a good day. I didn't get the one pound pass, but I would eat 1,100 calories any day of the week for $9,500. Boom shock a lock. Yes. Lo and behold, the one pound pass comes down. My turn is over. I didn't have to eat anything. Didn't win any money, but I got the golden ticket pretty much. And I was pretty happy about that. I was just trying to figure out, did anybody else get that one pound pass? Because I haven't taken advantage of any of these temptations because they just haven't been worth it for me. This one I, I'm thinking is, is my, my saving grace in there, that one pound pass. I hate these. 
150 calories. Oh my god. God, I'm gonna need this pound pass. Allie let us know that the Wrigley's sugar-free gum had money amounts anywhere from $500 to $5,000, and there was a one-pound pass at the next weigh-in in this machine. And if we hit a snack, we had to eat it, but we could keep going, unless you got the one-pound pass, and then your trip was over. I really wanted that pass bad. Holy cow, 230 calories. God, I'm gonna need this pound pass. I'm almost getting nauseous. So I get those down, and now I'm kind of hesitant. You know, I don't have anything to show, but I want that one pound pass. It was really that important that I would sit there and eat. I agree. Two hundred and seventy calories. I, I think I should have brought a calculator. I'm working on those chocolate cream filled cookies and I'm getting just more and more nauseous. Before I did this, I told myself that I would do this four times. It sucks to eat all this and walk away with nothing. I get the cookies down, so I'm gonna hit it up one more time. Two hundred and twenty. Couldn't even got something salty. Oh my god. <clears throat> my eyes were watering. I I'm nauseous. It just the body was screaming that it was really unhappy with what I was doing. I'm embarrassed. I mean. That's a ton of calories and nothing to show for it. I would uh, like to play again, but I don't think I keep it down. I hate to walk away with so little and not my one pound. I gotta go to the gym, I gotta work my butt off. Bad to see. Boom, chaka laka. Bam. Bam. Two thousand dollars for you chips. This is crazy. Woo. I've been doing that my whole life, and it's about broke as hell. <laughs> oh, man. The best betting machine ever. Yeah! <laughs> it's all. Oh, Bob Barker, eat your heart out. $500. That right there is a fat gold chain for my dog. I'm in love with this vending machine. On that note, I want one in my house. Yes. Oh, what are those? <laughs> Four hundred and forty calories of chocolate. Thank God. 
first initial like thought was crap, I didn't win any money, but I won a one pound pass of the way and I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm so excited about this one pound pass. And I'm like kind of hoping that I'm maybe the only one who got it, or maybe there's just like me or one other person. I'm really excited. Okay, Maggie, everyone, you've all had a turn at the vending machine. Now, just to be clear, you don't have to tell me or anyone what happened. I know there's some of you anxious to hit the gym after tonight. So get a good workout in tonight. See you guys soon. Not going to tell us like how many, how much money was given away or how many pound passes. That is entirely up to you. When I, when I walked out of the temptation, I was just miserable. I really feel like I'm, I'm vulnerable. And if we don't win this way in that, you know, I'm going home <sighs> because the black team as, as a whole, Brittany, Bernie, and Maggie are very close. They're all in the same age group. I'm odd, odd man out. I got a weigh-in coming up, and I need to be Biggest Loser of the Week to guarantee that I'm here to play another week. Coming up, the contestants find out how far they've really come. You guys were in critical health condition. And face their fears at the most dangerous challenge yet. Keep going, Brittany! You know what, I'm lucky because this week I am the biggest loser. I have no clue what to expect. I know that Jay won a trip for he and the entire blue team to Vegas. The truth is I'm not really hoping for a prize like that. It's a long walk up that mountain and, you know, I'm just kind of racking my brain, wondering what I'm going to do, which one I'm going to choose. While I'm standing there, I'm just thinking of a couple things. And the truth is, I definitely miss my family. I miss my girlfriend, I miss my dog, I miss all my friends. And the possibility that one of them could possibly come visit me on campus would be incredible, but this is week 10. Give immunity to any player besides yourself. That's a good one. You know what, right now I'm just gonna hold on to this decision. It's a big one and uh, see how everybody's doing this week. And then, and only then will I make my decision. Today they brought us back to the same hospital we've been to way at the beginning of this process. So it's kind of intimidating, kind of scary going back to the hospital. I mean, even though it's like where I spend most of my life when I'm outside of here, don't wanna be here while I'm getting healthier. How does it feel to be back? A little better than the last time we yeah. were here. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty grim then, wasn't it? You got right out of the ambulance, remember? And we took you to the intensive care unit. And then eventually the morgue. Because very frankly, you know, you guys were in critical health condition. I felt if I didn't do something drastic to get your attention, if you guys didn't really change up something that you were doing, almost every one of you was going to be back in the hospital and maybe even back in that morgue years prematurely. Um, I'm, I'm really thrilled to be able to tell you guys that I'm upgrading your condition from critical. Let's say you're fair now, okay? Uh -huh. You're kind of on the launching pad to get discharged, so to speak. So we brought you here today. We're going to go through an extensive battery of tests to find out everything there is about your body composition, your heart, your lungs, and at the end of that, we'll talk, and, and let's see exactly how far you've come, okay? Follow me, okay? You know what, we thought we'd uh, come on back to the hospital where we started this entire adventure off and uh, see the different doctors and kind of check our progress. Bernie, you've lost a lot of weight. I, I feel it. Come on over here. 
This is an iDEXA scan, okay? And this is something that's pretty amazing. This is a before and an after. The lungs on the before scan were so small, and now they're so much bigger, okay? You didn't grow new lungs, okay? You just expanded them because you lost so much fat. Now, let me show you the second thing. Okay, this is also pretty amazing. Look at the fat, muscle, and bone. Look how much fat you had before and after. Look how much it's decreased. I mean, yeah, you got a little bit of love handles here, but look, you can actually see them now. Before, it was just a massive amount of fat. Yeah, in it's, it's now, now they're puppy love handles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is incredible. What a great result. It was really fun to see the progress that I've made so far, and uh, I'm definitely going to use that as motivation to keep going. Hey, Hi. how are you, Kelly? I'm great. How are so you? So good to see you. You look awesome. Thank you. How do you feel? Feeling a lot better. Yeah? Amazing. Yeah, a lot better. Excellent. No, oh, I remember talking to you very, very early on about the problems that you had had before as far as fertility is concerned. Three miscarriages and two ectopics. Oh my gosh. A couple were, the um, ectopics were life threatening. I wanted to just talk to you about your progress thus far and how I think maybe that affects your fertility. Okay. A lot of the studies have actually shown that only 5 to 10% body weight loss can really make a huge difference. You started at 271, mm -hmm. right? Yes. For us to think you might have a much better chance at getting pregnant and carrying the child, we'd want you to weigh 244. And this was your most recent weigh-in. I just wanted to sort of tell you how excited I am no, about that is, it that is and great. I mean, um, give you my best wishes. That's just amazing, especially suffering from so many miscarriages and thank you. I got great news today. I'm on track. Dr. Kearns was sitting down with me and she shared with me that how much just losing 10% of your body weight, I mean, that the percentage of miscarriages was down, the percentages of getting pregnant had gone much, much higher. And then to be able to carry it and have safe deliveries. Hi. Well, hello, doctor. How are you, Roger? Yeah, it's fine. Good to see you again. It's been a while. I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Mostafavi. He is our sleep apnea guru. This is an incredibly serious condition you guys have, okay? Worst sleep apnea there is, there's going to be risks of high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, and people can die in their sleep. Actually, I was looking to your results the second sleep study that you had. Yes. Well, sleep apnea, you stop breathing and your oxygen level goes down and your body panics because it doesn't have any oxygen and right. it wakes itself up. That's why you feel so tired is because you can never go into those deep stages of sleep. Well, thank you so much. You're very welcome. It seems like that your disease, as far as severity, is cut in half. Your snoring, your sleep apnea, your oxygen desaturation, everything is gone by down by 50%. Definitely a more positive experience than the last time I come rolled in this hospital and it was just all, you know, doom and gloom. Come on in. I do have all your results. And um, as I think you guys have already been told, you really kicked some tail in these tests. I'm really proud of you. But there is one big problem, one hurdle that looms out in front, and it's, it's something called weight maintenance. I mean, this is the real bugaboo in losing this amount of fat. So one of the things that I wanted to do to help that whole process is I wanted to bring along somebody to talk about that, somebody that really understands what it means to be an obesity survivor, some, something that you are all going to be for the rest of your lives. And this is a physician, this is somebody that I really look up to and somebody that actually taught me a lot. I'd like to introduce you to this is a step up step ups are a great exercise that work the quads glutes hamstrings and even the abs the key is making sure you're stepping up onto a sturdy platform that's at least 15 inches high when you feel comfortable add weights by holding a barbell or even a couple of dumbbells to intensify the workout you'll be ready to show off your legs by summer There is one big problem, one hurdle that looms out in front, and it's, it's something called weight maintenance. So one of the things that I wanted to do to help that whole process is I wanted to bring along somebody to talk about that, somebody that really understands what it means to be an obesity survivor. I'd like to introduce you to... Hey! Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Jeff from season two, Biggest Loser. Go off the couch or this could happen to you. Man, you all look 
great. Wow, nice. Very good to see you. Hi, Kelly. I'm an avid fan before I started, so I watched the show, so it was really cool to see him and to see that he's still doing great, and, you know, there's hope for us. Well, like the millions of other Biggest Loser fans, I've been obviously following your progress on television. Personally, this show saved my life. If you ever saw the show, I couldn't walk up or down any stairs without holding on to the handrail. You know, I was over 370 pounds, but I also had high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, like some of you. I know, like some of you, I had severe sleep apnea. What I'm here to tell you, though, is that I'm an obesity survivor. There's, you're not gonna be cured, all right? There is no cure, and you have to make a conscious effort for the rest of your life in terms of things that you need to do to stay healthy. It's great that not only this a doctor can talk to you about weight maintenance, but it's someone who's been through what we're going through right now. You know, when you first go home, you're gonna have to face some of the same issues that maybe brought you here in the first place. I think always a concern is, you know, getting that weight. Because all of my friends and buddies, you know, it's always you gathering around for football games and eating. And After a while, you keep going back to those Alabama games and surrounding yourself with the tailgate parties of your friends, it's hard. So you got to say to myself, what are some things I can do? Either I don't do that or maybe I bring my own food. So when I go to Super Bowl parties and I call them, they say, we're having chicken wings and kielbasa. I say, oh, can I bring something? Sure. And I make my turkey chili and bring it. And all there. they'll thank you. Well, I didn't do that for them. I did it to make sure I had something I liked at the party and I could still have a good time. Or do I do something to fill up before I go? So little things like that, I think, will help. Well, I just want to really thank you, Dr. Jeff, for coming. No, I, like I said, I am grateful to the show. Daddy's home. <laughs> it's the reason that I'm not only still alive, but really the reason I'm enjoying life so much. I'm just so excited for all of you because you have this rare opportunity and I know you're gonna make the most of it because I could see that you're doing that already and I wanna wish you all continued success for you and your families in terms of good health and happiness. What I'm taking away from this experience from Dr. Jeff is hey, you're gonna have some bad days. Know what triggers that cause you to eat and, and try to prevent those. I thought he hit it on the head when he said, hey, I make turkey chili. There's tons of alternatives that I can bring to a tailgate party and you know what, I might just write a damn book about it. The healthy way to tailgate. Yeah, pleasure, man. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. So I'm walking down the hill, and I kind of glance to the right, and I see this huge canyon, and I'm like, holy hey. Walking into today's challenge, all I see is a huge ravine. I'm not excited about anything having to do with that huge ravine. Right then and there, I just want to go back to the ranch and cook a steak. There was a sinking feeling in my stomach, and I'm thinking, crap. All right, you guys. Today's challenge is all about achieving your goals. I know you all started out with a goal weight in mind, and you have been sweating it out mile by mile on the treadmill and rep by rep in the gym. Well, some goals are harder to reach than others. In fact, for today's challenge, to reach your goal, you are going to have to fly across that 500-foot canyon. Oh, God. My God, we're going out there. We are going out there. This can't be good. It has got to be one of the most extreme challenges you have ever had to face in your lives. One at a time, you each are gonna fly down the zip line. Grab as many flags as you can. You'll have five minutes to do it. The team that has the most flags in the end wins. This is absolutely the most mentally and physically intense challenge I've seen on previous seasons or us to date. Does everyone understand? Yep. Good, because what you're playing for today is the opportunity of a lifetime. We'll get to become fighter pilots for the day. This prize of flying in a fighter jet is so cool. I mean, like, to get to be up there flying around, I mean, on top of it, my oldest brother, he's a pilot. I mean, he flies planes for a living. Flying's in our blood. This is awesome. That's right, you guys. You're gonna get to fly in the cockpit of a real military plane and go head-to-head -head 
in dogfights, courtesy of Air Combat USA. I think the prize is awesome, but I just hate to lose. My main focus is always to beat those boys. So, black team, you have to pick who is not going to participate in today's challenge. Take a second, talk about it. We had a chance to talk about it, and I had already, you know, ahead of time, you know, told my team that I really want to be involved in the next challenge. So, regardless of being scared as hell, I was going to do it. Black team, you're going to have to sit someone out of this. I'm going to sit this one out. Maggie's going to sit out. The rest of you are all going to have to get harnessed up. Let's get started. You know, as many years I've watched the show, I've never seen a challenge like this where you got to strap it in and fly over a canyon. Oh, yeah. I was used to where you strap as much weight as you lost and run 100 yards. This ain't that challenge. All right, Bernie, are you ready? Yeah. Roger, you ready? Yes. On your mark, get set, go. going through my mind the entire time was don't look down. Don't look down, don't look down, don't fall, don't look down. Doing good, Bernie! And grab the next flag. Bernie's at his fourth flag. It's not rocket science when you're dangling 500 feet above a ravine. You're looking good, Roger, come on! Go, Bernie! Eight flag for the blue team. Go, Rog! You got it, Bernie! Bernie's got his eighth flag. It's all tied up. Roger, Bernie, you have three and a half minutes left. Go, Bernie! All right, Bernie! Ah! Go, Roger! You got it, Bernie! Nine flags each for Bernie and Roger. You're looking Good. strong! That's Roger's tent. Right. There, he's released another flag. Just keep pulling, keep pulling. We want to beat the black team. That's what it's all about, you know. Bernie, Roger, each of 12 flags. They each have two more to go. Roger looks like he's struggling a little bit. Yeah, struggles. Go, Bernie! All right, Bernie! Blue team at the 13th flag. Towards the end, you know, the incline of the rope was just getting a lot harder, and you felt it all throughout your arm. <laughs> it was pretty extreme. They're both down to their last. Go Black Team! Come on, Roger, you got this! Time is running out! Come on, Bernie! All right, Bernie, on the floor! That's it! Bernie has thought his way back! He made all 14 flags! Good job, Bernie! Yeah. Woo! Roger did not get his last flag. Black Team is up one flag. Good job! She doesn't look so hot. I'm completely scared of heights. And uh, ever since I got to The Biggest Loser, that's what I've been doing is just letting go of all my past fears, my old habits. And uh, this challenge is just kind of one of those things that just solidifies the fact that I'm here to make a complete life change. It's a lot more upper body in your hands. I'm like beyond nervous. And I mean, I'm holding on to things and looking over. I, I, I truly am scared to death. I, I, I have no desire to do this whatsoever. I'm a little nervous because I'm thinking back when we went to Vegas, there was a, a ride we were all gonna go on and Jay wouldn't do it. No, I'm not doing it. Right. Come on, come on. Right, right. I've never been a ride person. Then when you throw 1,200 feet in the air into it, there's no way I'm going on that ride. He is extremely afraid of heights. This challenge could possibly go the same way and potentially he might not get on. Tonight, in the first hour of Biggest Loser, the contestants faced a temptation where five of the players received a one-pound pass. Yes. Dan and Kelly didn't, sending her into a panic. We don't win this weigh-in. I'm going home. But it's at the weigh-in where Allie reveals a shocking twist that will change the course of the game. What? 
find out what will happen next in an all-new hour of The Biggest Loser. Okay, black team, you got all 14 flags, Bernie. Blue team, Roger got 13. Jay, blue team is one flag behind the black team. Oh my god, I am so scared. We have to pull ourselves across a 500-foot ravine. I, I, I truly am scared to death. I, I, I have no desire to do this whatsoever. Honestly, how the hell am I going to do this? I'm not sure if I'm ready to jump. OK, grab as many flags as you can. You'll have five minutes to do it. The team that has the most flags in the end wins. Kelly, Jay, are you ready? Yes. Ready. Get set. I'm trying not to think about it because I think I'm going to wet myself. It's not going to be pretty. Jay is at his first flag. Kelly, you got this, Kelly. Kelly is at her first flag. There goes one. Keep going. Two flags for the blue team. Jay looking like a pro out there. Right now, I'm thinking, don't look down. Just look straight at those flags. Focus on those flags and go get them. I'm watching Jay, and he's a little ahead of me, and so I grabbed my line, and I just started pulling. I was doing OK. My arm strength was good. I was still pulling myself. I had my leg up, and I'm giving me a little shove to get down there, and I knew I had a couple minutes. I wanted to win for the team, because I know it's important to them. And I, I hate to even think that I'm the weaker link. Jay is slowing down a little bit, getting winded. This is Kelly's chance to make up some time. Good job, Kelly! I think this was a defining moment in my time here. I'm really starting to find out I'm probably a little stronger than I think I am. Um, I just have to have a little more confidence in myself. And I'm thinking after this challenge, that's only going to help me believe in myself a little more and accomplish more goals that I never thought I could do. Woo! Good job, you guys. Awesome, awesome brother. Right yeah! Nice! <laughs> that great? Oh, you did so good. Getting off the hill was more than I thought I could do. So 10 flags was, was really awesome. But then I feel bad because, you know, Bernie got 14. I didn't carry my load for the team. All right, blue team, you have 27 flags. Black team, you have 24. Brittany, if you want to win this, you got to get four more flags than Dan. Dan, Brittany, are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Get set. coasted a little farther than I did. So that started me off right away behind the eight ball. I'm thinking, man, I got to catch up to her. Blue team has one flag. 
It was a huge adrenaline rush. I didn't even think about how high I was up in the, the sky. I just was collecting flags. She's got six flags! I'm just pulling with everything I have, hand over hand, steady pace, get to each flag, drop it and go, drop it and go. There's no way I'm going to let her beat me. When it was over, it was really just a moment to, to realize how far I've come, how far I've taken my body, my life, my health. I've got it all back. I mean, I'm what a 21-year-old should be. And that, to me, is more important than any prize they could give me. Awesome dog. Good job, brother. Dude, that's awesome, bro. Dude, that was sick. Good job. Oh. Wow, blue team, congratulations, you guys. That was amazing. Thanks, Allie. Well, you guys have come a long way. You got to be really proud of yourself. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And you have an amazing reward coming to you guys. Are going to be fighter pilots in your own military plane for a day. Awesome. Yes, awesome. is that awesome? That's yeah. great. absolutely. That's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys worked hard. You deserve it. Now you guys need to get some rest. You got a way in coming up. Yeah, sure yes, we do. do. All right. Try it on three. Try it on three. One, two, three. Pride. Coming up. At the weigh-in, the contestants battle the scale and are faced with this season's biggest surprise. You just saw a challenge where the contestants were forced to pull their own body weight across a canyon. Pulling weight is a great way of getting in a back, bicep, and core workout and adding some variety into your routine. An easy way of doing this is tying a rope around a weight plate, pull it 10 times across the floor for a killer workout. Three, two, one. What is Jay like on his own without his brother? Jay doesn't have any cushion of his brother. It's just Jay all by himself. Excellent, Jay. I think Mark leaving was the worst thing for the team, but the best thing for Jay. <sighs> You're not going back to that elimination room, are you? Back to the elimination. You're not going to lose one more brother, are you? No, sir. We're going to keep each other here. It was a tough, tough start of the week for me. I mean, the person I've been here with the whole time has all of a sudden not been there. So um, I had to pick myself up, and hopefully it all ends on a good note with a big number. Roger, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Bob just was pushing us to new levels. As he was telling me to do these different exercises, I'm like, I can't do these. You can do this. Nice. Keep your abs real strong. This has never been done at the Biggest Loser House. Ah, yes! Really? This has never been done. Not this much. And look, I did things that I was telling myself I couldn't do and then did it. And, you know, Bob just started reminding me. He said, you know, Dan, when you first came here, you couldn't do any of this stuff. I'm freaking dead, dude. No, you're not. You look alive. You look wide awake. Go. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I know for a fact there is no way in a million years, one month ago, you'd been able to do anything like that. When you first walked into this house, you, couldn't, you could not do a squat. Do you remember that? Because I do. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad, brother. Do you? The emotion just overwhelmed me. It just flooded over me, just like the gates of water were just open. And it was just feeling the emotion of knowing how much I've changed my life. 
I am so proud of you. You have no idea. All three of you, so proud. It is the most beautiful thing I've ever felt. Good job. I know it's been like fun all week. Fun? For you like to be hiding like what you got as the prize. Oh. But I know all three of us would like to know. Bernie hasn't told us what he received for his prize of being the biggest loser of the week. Did you pick luxury or gameplay? You took luxury. Well, here's the deal. Holy cow. The one that I actually chose was gameplay because I know that we need it as much as possible. And it, it, it is a big one, and I'm glad that we're talking about it now because we have some decisions to make. The prize is that I get to grant immunity to one person, either on our team or the blue team, and I can't give it to myself. What's your feelings on it? I probably most likely give it to Brittany. I don't know that I think that that's the smartest way of playing that card. Well, no, 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 no. And here's the deal. That's why I wanted to talk to you guys about it. How else can we use this card to benefit us? I'm thinking we can give it to somebody. I'm blue. My plan is to win this way in. That being said, why would any of us need immunity? So what are you thinking? I, I was thinking that, you know, we've always thought that Dan and Roger are our biggest threats over there. I was thinking along the lines of what you're saying which is if we give it to Jay, either Roger or Dan are gonna have to go. The hope is that Dan takes Biggest Loser, Jay has immunity, and Roger, the biggest threat on that team, is gone. It's your decision. You won this. You make the final decision. I got a huge decision to make. I'm pretty confident in the black team's ability to win this way in. That being said, I have an incredible person who I met here the very first day and uh, better believe that I'm gonna make sure she stays here as long as possible. Roger and I both have one pound passes. Hopefully the black team doesn't have more passes than us. These past couple weeks have been even more nerve-wracking than ever. Just because it's so down to the wire. There's seven people left. That's it. You know, I know I'm the biggest threat. I know I've had a bullseye pain on my back. I think it's pretty crucial to get biggest loser of the week. For 10 weeks now, you guys have shown America how determined you all are to get in shape. But when push comes to shove, unfortunately, it all comes down to the numbers on that scale. Tonight, we are one step closer to finding out who will become the biggest loser and who is going to walk away from this $250,000 richer. Before we get started tonight, we have a little bit of business to attend to. At The Temptation, five of you won a one-pound pass. Dan and Kelly are the only ones who didn't. When Allison told us that our team has three pounds and their team has two pounds, I was like, thank God, we really needed that advantage. Also, Bernie, your reward for being Biggest Loser Player of the Week means you get to give immunity to one person besides yourself, if you so choose. However, none of those things will change the course of this game as much as what I'm about to tell you. Before we get started tonight, we have a little bit of business to attend to. At The Temptation, five of you won a one pound pass. Dan and Kelly are the only ones who didn't. However, that will not change the course of this game as much as what I'm about to tell you. The blue team and the black team no longer exists. <laughs> uh, what? 
The day you've been waiting for has finally come. You guys are going to be weighed in as individuals. When Allison announced that we were going to singles, I was ecstatic. I thought, God, that's my chance. That's, that's my chance to stay in this game. From this moment on, there are no more teams. It is just about you and that scale. When Allie said that we were all going to be singles before the weigh-in, my jaw dropped to the ground in that weigh-in room. I was like, are you kidding me? When Allison spoke those words, it was sweet music, man. I was so excited to hear it was going to singles. From our perspective on the blue team, we're all pretty excited about that. All right, well, I think you're all anxious to get to tonight's weigh-in. Here's how it's going to work. The dreaded yellow line is back. And for the rest of your time here, it's going to be your worst enemy. The two people with the lowest percentage of weight loss will fall below the yellow line, and they will be up for elimination. The rest of you will have one hour to determine who you want to send home. Since we've gone to singles, there will be no more player of the week. Bernie, you were the last one on campus this season to win that honor. And as your reward, you got to give immunity to anyone here besides yourself or no one at all if you choose. Uh, I would like to give immunity to um, Brittany. We've been here for quite a long time. And no matter what happens tonight, I want to make sure that she's here for another week. Uh, we're a team. We came here as individuals, but we truly are a team. We're here because of each other. And uh, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that she stays here. Brittany, how does it make you feel to know that Bernie's giving you immunity tonight? Uh, words cannot describe how happy I am. <laughs> Thank you, Bernie. <laughs> so let's get you up on that scale, see how you did. Brittany, when you first arrived on campus, you weighed 221 pounds. Your current weight is. such a problem with getting great numbers on the scale that five was just like, thank you, Lord. Like, that is amazing. Brittany, you have lost a total of 47 pounds since you came to campus. <laughs> this week, you have a total percentage of weight loss of 3.35%. Brittany, since you have immunity, we're going to take your name off the board, and we're going to set it up for six. As it turns out, your one pound pass from this week's temptation doesn't matter. Okay, we are ready. Up first tonight is gonna be Kelly. Come on up. Hi, Kel. Hi, Kel. Walking up to the scale, I'm always nervous in the, the temptation. I didn't get the one pound pass, and um, it's added stress. Kelly, when you first started this competition, you weighed in at 271 pounds. Last week, you weighed 212 pounds. Your current weight is. when you first started this competition, you weighed in at 271 pounds. Last week, you weighed 212 pounds. Your current weight is. It's just amazing. It's, it's, I'm real happy with that. Real happy with that. You I hope that's, I hope, I'm not as secure because so many people have a pound, so um, that's gonna make a difference. I got six pounds, and uh, from 212 to 206, and I am six pounds away from a huge personal goal, and I have done great things. Thanks, Kelly. Uh -huh. 
With those six pounds, your percentage of weight loss, Kelly, this week is 2.83%. Wow. Okay, next up is Jay. Come on, Jay, get up here. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. You never know going in what you're gonna throw up there. Um, I worked extremely hard this week, ate what I was supposed to, and I'm hoping for a big number, but um, you never know. Jay, when you first came to campus, you weighed 293 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 221 pounds. Your current weight is. I'm definitely happy with seven. I mean, it's been a, a tough week for me. You start with the elimination with Mark and, and then you know, go through a couple other things and getting back on the horse. And I'm thinking the seven with the combination of the one pound pass will keep me in the game, uh, throw up a good percentage, and I, and I feel good about it at this point. You lost seven pounds this week, Jay, and with your one pound pass, that makes your total percentage of weight loss 3.62%. Okay. Up next, Roger, it is your turn. When I'm walking up the scale, there's always a little bit of apprehension because you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but, you know, I have an opportunity to reach 100 pounds lost on campus, and I got five to go, so that's a nice milestone. Roger, when you first came to campus, you weighed in at 363 pounds. Last week, you weighed 268 pounds. Your current weight is... Nice. All right, Roger. Nice. Woo. Got it. Got it. Got it. You sure did. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Congratulations, Roger. Your current weight is 259 pounds, and you are the first person on campus this season to break the 100-pound mark. Yes. All right, Roger. Congratulations. It's a great accomplishment. Uh, you know, 104 pounds lost is pretty impressive. I'm still having a hard time just kind of wrapping my brain around it going, wow, man. Oh, right, 100, man. Good job, dude. Yeah, right. This week you lost nine pounds, Roger, and with your one pound pass, your total percentage of weight loss is 3.73%. You are currently in first place with two people below you. Roger, you are definitely safe from elimination this week. Congratulations. Kelly, I'm sorry to say, you are still up for elimination. We have three people left to weigh in. Maggie, let's see how you did. When you first came to campus, you weighed in at 239 pounds. Last week, you weighed 190. Your current weight is... pass, your total percentage of weight loss this week is 3.68%, which is enough for second place. Congratulations, Maggie. Thank you. Kelly and Jay, I'm sorry to tell you that with two people left to weigh in, you are both still in danger of falling below the yellow line. Dan, you need to have lost more than seven pounds to be safe from elimination this week. I'm nervous walking up the scale. I have to lose over seven pounds and I don't have a one pound pass. Dan, when you first came to campus, you weighed 310 pounds. Your previous weight was 219 pounds. Your current weight is. Dan, it's time to see how you did on the scale this week. Come on up.
Dan, when you first came to campus, you weighed 310 pounds. Dan, you need to have lost more than seven pounds to be saved from elimination this week. Standing on that scale, just waiting for those numbers to pop up, my hands were sweating, I was shaking, and I am not kidding you, for the first time ever on that scale, I thought my heart was gonna beat out of my chest. Your previous weight was 219 pounds. Your current weight is. Yes! <laughs> Seven's been my number for a long time, and you told me I had to lose more than seven. I feel like I did a little extra this week, and it shows. Congratulations, Dan. Thank you. Awesome, man. Nine shots. Dan, you have lost 99 pounds since you came to campus. With your eight pound weight loss, your total percentage of weight loss this week is 3.65%. Congratulations, Dan, that puts you in third place. Dan, you are definitely safe from elimination. Thank you. Kelly, I'm sorry, but with one person left to weigh in, there's no chance of you getting above that yellow line. You are definitely gonna be up for elimination this week. Bernie, to stay above the yellow line, to push Jay below it, you need to have lost more than seven pounds. But since you have won a one pound pass this week, that means that tonight you need to have lost more than six pounds to be safe from elimination. It's time to get you on that scale. Right away, you know, the uh, nerves start jittering and uh, I'm hoping that I'm able to pull this number. But at the same time, that scale is brutal sometimes, so you just never know. When you first came to campus, you weighed in at 283 pounds. Last week, you weighed 201 pounds. Bernie, your current weight is. Bernie, your current weight is 195 pounds. You lost six pounds this week. And you are below the 200 mark. It finally ends up landing on a six. And the truth is, you know, it's just devastating. It's bittersweet, but you know what? I'm gonna celebrate this one. That's under 200 pounds. So I decided to go ahead and just celebrate the moment. You know what? Haven't been under 200 pounds since junior year in high school, going home or not, I have lost tons of weight. I have two people below the line and I'm just devastated, I felt awful. Bernie, you have lost 88 pounds since you came to campus. <laughs> and with your one pound pass, your total percentage of weight loss this week is 3.48%. Tonight, you are under the yellow line by less than one pound. Bernie, you are joining Kelly below the yellow line this week, and you are both up for elimination. Bernie, if you had not given your immunity to Brittany, it would have been Brittany and Kelly below the yellow line. You saved Brittany this week, Bernie. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change it for the world. The rest of you have an important decision to make tonight. Bob, Jillian, it's time to say goodnight. Okay guys, you all have one hour to decide who is going home. If it will be Kelly, or Bernie. I'll see you guys in one hour. Choose wisely. What do you want to do?
do. I moved the room. It just makes it hard because Bernie's in there and he's gonna be packing. Actually packing this time. Bernie's been my partner since day one. And it's just hard to be set in a situation where my partner gave me immunity, but now he is up for elimination. It kills me. It really does. I don't know. I don't want to just sit here. <laughs> Dude, you got your honor, man. I got it. There are three people that come from the blue team that are voting against only two people that came from the black team who are voting. That means the decision's up to us tonight. We control the game. All right. What's up, guys? But here's one thing that does interest me. They keep talking about how, you know, they're trying to keep the competition around. Because if uh, they're trying to keep competition around, I'm your man, baby. Let's be honest. Am I packing? Because if not, I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I think we kind of got to talk, you know, still. We haven't made up our minds yet, really. These decisions every week are getting harder and harder because you grow closer and closer together. Oh. So it's, you know, it's going to be difficult. Don't cry. You're probably the biggest threat of the two. I mean, I think, yeah, I, I think Bernie and I are both threats, but yeah. I'm, I'm a bigger threat than Bernie. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. Absolutely, 100%. And here's the thing, we could get you in here and strong arm you and say, if you don't help us out in the future and all that, that I ain't gonna do that. Like you said, you guys are in a tough position. Right now, I'm not optimistic. I'm frustrated that my six pounds isn't good enough to keep me here. Good job, six pounds. Good, good job, it's still moving. It mind. is a good job. I mean, that, my back's been against the wall for nine weeks, so. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a bad spot. The thing about tonight's decision is there's two threats that are up for elimination. Bernie consistently pulls great numbers. I mean, he's been known to even sometimes hit double digits on a, on a good week. But Kelly in the long run is a much bigger threat because she has more weight to lose. Tonight is a tough decision, but I'm just happy not to be below that yellow line. Coming up, the biggest loser transformation moment. See for the first time how the eliminated player looks today. The Biggest Loser Club, it's changing lives. You guys have been part of a team for 10 long weeks. For the first time, you guys are entering this room as individuals. And as individuals, you have had to make an extremely difficult decision tonight. Bernie and Kelly are both up for elimination tonight. We're gonna go around the table and you're each going to reveal who you voted for. The person that gets the most votes will be asked to leave the Biggest Loser campus immediately. We're gonna hear from Brittany first. No elimination is easy, but this by far is the hardest because if it weren't for that immunity card, I'd be sitting on the other side. And for that, I'm forever grateful. Thank you, Brittany. So, I voted for Kelly. Kelly, that's one vote for you. If you receive the next two votes, you'll be eliminated. Now it's time to hear from Maggie. <laughs> I feel lucky to have been on a team with such amazing people. It's been a really long time since I've cried. Yeah, this was really hard for me. Um, I voted for Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, that's two votes for you. If you receive one more vote, you'll be eliminated. Jay. This one person that I voted for, I enjoyed talking to so much. They're a fantastic person. They have nothing to hang their head low about. And tonight, my vote is for Bernie. Okay, Bernie, that's one vote for you. If you receive the next two votes, you'll be eliminated. Kelly, if you receive one more, you'll be eliminated. 
Dan. Um, I guess you could say from one threat to another, tonight I voted for Bernie. That is two votes for you, Bernie. Two votes for you, Kelly. With the entire former black team holding hands, it comes down to one final vote. Roger. A long time ago, when it was six versus one, I told Kelly and Paul, if you kept us, I owed you one. We want to stay around. You know, I like to get to 300 pounds before I go home. Are you an ally if, if we save you? We got your back. And I'm going to hold my promise. And my vote is for Bernie. Bernie, looking around this table, there are a lot of people here, including myself, who are going to miss you a lot. Thank you. During your time here, you lost 88 pounds. Good job. Congratulations, Bernie, on all your successes. Thank you. But I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. And it is time to say goodbye to your friends. Thank you. I am extremely proud of what I've accomplished here at campus. I've learned how to exercise, eat healthy, but more importantly, I just learned that you have to take time for yourself. It feels like I have an entirely new life. Brittany and I met here on campus. We were the last of the couples, and uh, we challenged each other. This is just the beginning of my journey. By no means is it over, and I'm gonna see this through. I'm gonna see this one through. America, the next time you see me, it will be modeling on the cover of your favorite magazine. It's just nice to be home. It's one of those real cold Chicago welcomes. Going to the ranch was a huge adventure, but making this actually work in my everyday life is, is gonna be really huge. And this is actually why I went on the show, was to figure out how I'm gonna make this actually work. handsome. I mean, he lost a whole other person. I was happy and shocked and so thrilled to see my wonderful, loving son home again. Yes. He looks so good, so handsome. I just hope those other girls in America don't think the same thing because I might have to kick some butts. And I'm going to need a lot of help yeah. still, you know, and I know that uh, that's one thing that we far too often don't do or don't ask of our loved ones is to truly uh, support us for fear that they might not necessarily know how or have the time. But uh, I know that all you guys are willing to definitely uh, be there for me and uh, make sure that uh, I'm coming back in April with a hundred grand. Cause yeah! that's, a lot of money. that's a lot of money. The fact that everybody came on out to support me yet again was incredible. And that just goes to show you that uh, I'm definitely gonna be a force to be reckoned with here at home. When I started on the Biggest Loser campus, I weighed 283 pounds. Today, I weigh 175 pounds. I didn't have any energy before going to the Biggest Loser Ranch, and now I, I'm full of energy. Nice job. Working out and eating right have definitely given me a new grasp on life. Bernie's confidence levels and energy levels just went through the roof. I'm coming to whoop you. He just seems so excited about so many things. He seems so confident and just very happy. It's great. <laughs> Even though I'm at home, the truth is I definitely have a responsibility not only to myself, but to the black team and Jillian. Adrian! All right, America, you better believe that I'm going to continue on losing weight. Uh, I hope that you guys all join me, and uh, come finale, let's all look good together.